What's up, YouTubers of the world? Making Geek Mix here to give you guys my live reaction to the newest chapter of One Piece 10. Uh, what was that? 1,116. 1, I think that is what it is. All I just know is Vegapunk's still going on with that broadcast as he's revealing what he knows about the Void Century. And yeah, it's just getting more interesting. And let's just see what more we're getting here. I wonder if we're going to get something from Emu this time because we saw him in the last chapter, him or she, and didn't look too pleasant. But we'll see what's going on. Either way, let's get to it and see what we get here. Okay, yeah, it is chapter 1116. So, conflict. Ooh, conflict. And there's Yamato visiting Kinemon's wife. <laughs> I see the citizens are, are really becoming attracted to Yamato. All of them, for that matter. <laughs> okay. All right. A truth too hard to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, too hard to swallow. And just like last time, guys, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be reading out loud when it comes to Vegapunk and his broadcast. But everything else, I really keep to myself and just get my thoughts and reactions after I see it there. Either way, let's keep going. <laughs> Why would a war rage on in secrecy? He's saying. Ooh. I, okay, well, I think we did get a reaction out of Vega. I mean, not Vega Punk, e Emu. Emu saying Vega Punk out loud, so obviously not happy. And by the way, is that is that the eight hundred eight hundred euro princess, uh, Lil Lilith Nifatari Lilith, who go went by the name of D? Because that's definitely got to be her portrait right there, the one who sent all the Poneglyphs out into the world. One still got to wonder how she did that. My only guess has to be Kuma's fruit, the pawpaw fruit, because that thing can spread anything, anyone, anywhere. <laughs> Either way, ah, here we are back with Vegapunk's broadcast. In all sincerity, I want to apologize from the bottom of my heart, as there is something else I must confess. Well, while you're confessing, the people of Alabasta are mourning over the missing of Vivi and the loss of Cobra. My goal was always to create an energy source to fuel society's development, and while it remains unfinished, my research has accumulated in the Mother Flame. Its power has many heartic practical use. I am certain that one day this undying energy can be harnessed to ensure that the entire world lives in abundance. This breakthrough is married, however, as a small fragment of the flame was stolen. <laughs> He's talking about what, what, what happened at Lelusia Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was the ancient weapon. I knew it. Oh, he's still going on. I take full responsibility for this unfortunate event. Ah, the after facts of what that, of what that swordsman Gorosei did. <laughs> Chopping down that thing in half and releasing the C cypherpole agents along with the seraphim that were trapped in the bubbles, the bubble guns. This could be trouble. Ah, I'm one of the Vegapunks Edison's still trying to persuade Stussy to leave. Well, her purpose it seems to be unfelt because in last chapter she was on conflict on she didn't know what to do. She didn't have a purpose anymore. Oh wait. Is it okay if I let Kaku go free? I want I don't want him to suffer the consequence of this. Don't worry, I won't let him go after the straw ads and don't let and don't think pursuing them will be his priority anyway. Understood, Stussy. Sorry for putting you through all this. It didn't occur to me that they were your friends. Forgive me for making you turn on them. Despite being torn between both sides, you still rescued us. That inner conflict is proof of your humanity, Stussy. Do as you please. Just find a way to keep on living. Yes, sir. Okay, that was beautiful. Oh, Stussy, it's just like a reminder of all the times the Straw Hat's friendship and how it touches your heart. 
from Nico Robin to Nami to Sanji, to all of them. I was just beautiful. Even in Cypher Bowl, a Cypher Bowl, you got agents who feel a friendship of love. That was beautiful. It's just beautiful. Okay, okay, let me get myself back together here, because we're back to Vegapunk's research here. Okay. Two weeks after the flame fragment was stolen, we observed an intense glow emitting from the kingdom of Lelucia. Uh-oh, he's about to mention it. I later got the news that the entire nation had mysteriously vanished without a trace. Before long, my equipment registered the worldwide earthquakes I mentioned earlier. This might be my pride as a scientist talking, but I was certain of one fact. Oh, and that girl, she was from the Lelucia kingdom, but got rescued by Sabo before her kingdom was destroyed. Why would someone do that to Lelucia? <laughs> Trust me, honey, it's better you don't know, but those who do know may have the power to stop stop them. Those dark jerks. Only the Mother Flame could supply the immense energy needed to cause this tragedy. Oh, it's that king who was a friend of who's a friend of uh, Rebecca's grandfather back in Dress Rosa. My very own invention was used to power an ancient weapon. <laughs> the motives and origin of the perpetrator are a mystery to me, but in the end, all it boils down to is one hard truth. I am an accessor to this act of mass murder. I cannot express how remorseful I am for my part in this, and I am truly sorry. But this proves my theory is plausible. The disaster that flooded the world was man-made. Oh, oh, Vegapunk's home, home island. And they're not putting blame on him. Yes, Momonosuke, Pluton is real. And it's there. There were once three great ancient weapons. Crocodiles listening to this. Oh, and there are the Fishmen on Fishman Island. And there's one of the ancient weapons, <laughs> Shirohoshi. <laughs> it is said that Joy Boy attempted to ensure that they would be passed down another future generations. Am, excuse me, on to future generations. That begs the question, why hasn't the world sunk enough? That begs the question, hasn't the world sunk enough? Such ambiguity makes it hard to brand one side just just and the other side evil but the day of answers is coming consider this a warning when that time comes everyone will fear for the notion of a sunken world the void century is still an enigma but there are those who know what happened in its entirety yeah indeed there are marine headquarters oh i kind you don't look happy Akainu, aka Sakazuki, now the fleet admiral looks pissed. But when is but let's face it, when is he never pissed? He's always pissed. <laughs> That's why I think he's the bearer of the magma fruit. I refer to the former members of the Pirate King's crew. Well, yeah, that that's true. They do know know of what happened, but there's still the fact of what Rayleigh said to Robin. Could they what they have known of been the the exact certainty of what they came to, or will Robin come to a new conclusion? Why would pirates know the world's secret? Isn't that dangerous? That depends on the pirate, and knowing the Roger pirates, they weren't looking to destroy the world. They were just curious. Oh, it's York, that backstabbing step Vegapunk at satellite. Oh, uh, looks like York has found out where Vegapunk has hidden that that broadcast now that's that's causing him to broadcast his his message to the world. And now she's telling the the elders. It's in the Iron Giant! 
Oh, 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 that makes perfect sense. Now we know why he why he was stuck in between it when Luffy and Chopper and Jinbei found him in the beginning of the arc. He was putting that in. He was putting the he was putting the snail inside that iron giant. Oh my God! How are they gonna get it out of them? <laughs> How are they gonna get it out out of that iron giant? Oh, this is getting good. This is getting good. From emotional to now, whoa, whoa, whoa! I did not obey it. Maybe I. Oh, who am I kidding? No, I didn't expect that. Or more like it just makes sense now. And now that it's announced, and we saw Vegapunk half face through that thing when they first found him, makes perfect sense. I'm sure that I'm sure that they knew our entire lost history. So why would they just fade away without telling a soul? Why didn't they act? Well, from what Roger told us, it's because they were too early. It wasn't their time yet, so they felt better at not to say anything. Ooh, Rayleigh and his wife. I guess they, after saving saving Ball Hancock, they went back to Shambodi Archipelago. I wonder what Hancock and the others are doing right now, though. A, babble, a babbling old geezer who's already said too much. Don't be an ass and take it away from the youngster. The thrill is there is to seek right now. Right, Roger? Ah, <laughs> big stuff right there. And I can't disagree with Rayleigh. It's good that Vegapunk is giving us information. Some of which, some of us have already speculated, as I said, and some of us, and, and this is more confirming some things, but it's still not really giving us all benefit answers. So I think Rayleigh can be what should at least know that he's only revealing part of what he knows. He doesn't know fully everything, whereas you guys do. But I still understand Rayleigh. He's like, dude, you shouldn't be saying anything. Can't you let these youngsters have their fun? Let them find the thrill of excitement to wanting to know what they want to know to get the goals they want to get to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because, yeah, I can agree with that. But, hey, if I know anything right now, it's that Nico Robin, who is definitely someone who wants to know all about this, she probably isn't hearing any of this because she's too busy trying to survive and trying to get out of Egghead Island. And the same with Luffy, who's with Dorian Brogy trying to fight off, uh, what was that, War Mercury, who's that big boy who Luffy can't just seem to hurt because he's more hurt than himself. The more he punches, the more his hands just hurt. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But still, the Iron Giant, this is where he becomes the what I knew he would be. The key to letting the Straw Hats escape. They're going to be too focused on him that I think this gives the Straw Hats the final chance they need to escape. Because who knows what that thing is made of? What is that? What is that titanium metal that he's that's all over him? What's that armor made of? Are the five others going to be able to cut it, smash it, anything? Oh, I can't wait for that. But now that I've said that, I also want to say, Stussy, Stussy. I see. Oh, I feel for that girl. What she just did, she felt in the last chapter, I felt sorry for her. It looked like she didn't have a purpose. And then she remembered that despite being undercover, she formed a friendship with CP0. I don't know. Now, with Rob Luigi, with how he is, if he actually feels the same way, that's going to really hit me hard. Why? Because he's such a monstrous assassin. You don't think he would ever be able to have sentiment at all. But if he can, oh, I am going to cry so hard. Not because I can't believe it, but because I do believe that stuff like that can happen. I mean, let's face it. People, people out there, they, they may be cold-blooded murderers sometimes, or this and that, that and this, but they are not without people that they care about. Someone that's precious to them, someone they love as a sister, wife, anything like that. They have a, they have something for somebody. And if I see that with Cypher Ball, oh, my heart's going to tug. It's just going to talk, but that's the brilliance of Oda. He always knows how to get you at an emotional moment. And boy, has he been doing a great job all the time when it's come to it. 
And boy, would I love to feel like I felt when it came to Kuma again, because those feelings, those are special. But I haven't said all that, guys. Let me know what you think about it. What did you think about this chapter? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until then, if you enjoyed my videos, all you got to do is click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to be notified when I make more videos. And until then, Mickey V. Mixer, signing out. Bye!